In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about the lives of fall cankerworm moths. We see here the end result of the courtship and mating of the moths that took place 45 days earlier in the cold February winter woods. I happen to notice this male as he flew through our woods, honing in on the signal sent by the camouflaged apterous female who was perched five feet up on an oak tree. In these next few shots, you'll see the wingless female underneath the male. First, the female is pointing up, the male down, and then she is underneath the male. Really hard to see because of the camouflage. On the night following the capture, the female laid approximately 140 eggs. No further coupling was observed between this male and female. For 31 days, this tiny, determined female guarded her eggs. She feigned death when threatened, moved a little each day, but never lost contact with her egg mass. On the 32nd day, the tiny mother died, leaving her eggs alone for the first time. On the 45th day, the little eggs began to hatch. They had been kept outside under natural humidity, photo period, and temperature. It took over an hour for each caterpillar to emerge and over 24 hours for all of the caterpillars to break free from their egg cells. But predators almost immediately appeared. Here you'll see a reduvid type nymph feasting on the emerging caterpillars. Over 90% of the eggs hatched. Less than 10% succumbed to some type of fungus. Like the soft-hearted fool that I am, I released the tiny caterpillars into my orchard so that they could feast on the newly emerging leaves. I hope you've enjoyed this cankerworm chronicle. This is Lynn Faust. Thank you.